to summarize what we know about uh, tackle football and concussions is that uh, we do know that tackle football is um, uh, one of the highest offenders of concussions across sports. What we don't know is what are the long-term consequences of one, two, three, or multiple concussions for, for, a, for a particular individual. We've actually affiliated with leagues across the state. Each league has a community coordinator uh, that collects all of the uh, injury um, information which we've asked for to answer these questions. What are the risks to participate in flag football? What are the risks to participate in tackle football? And of course, uh, we'll be looking at concussions as part of that overall assessment. All injuries that require time away from uh, either play or practice are what we're going to be following. The general treatment for concussion is cognitive and physical rest. It's not any specific medication regimen, though some medicines can be used in, in more complicated concussions. Cognitive rest, what we really mean by that is, is a break from um, not only academics, but video games and texting, a screen time on the computer or television, and we, we ask athletes to avoid large crowds of people, and even if they're not playing, a lot of times we'll remove them from a stadium like Kinnick. All of that information then comes back to us here at the University of Iowa Sports Medicine Center, uh, where, we'll, where we'll continue to track it uh, both this year and in future years. Our hopes in the future is to follow these student athletes in our community leagues over the course of time to see if they're at higher risk for future concussions or other injuries, academic problems. We're a team at UI Sports Medicine. It really takes a team to pull off a, a study like this. It's nothing that I could do uh, on my own, and it really has taken a lot of concerned parents and concerned community leaders that have been interested in allowing us to um, uh, study the injuries in their in their leagues.